Hi there, everybody. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your um, your MediaSonic Homeworks um, digital converter box. As you can see here, I have it in the box. I have already used this, so it is pre-opened, as you can see. Um, but I am going to show you from the box how to set this entire thing up. I'm going to be plugging it into Tiny TV. It only has two ports, so... It, it only has two audio-visual ports. I'm going to be showing you how to connect it through the audio-visual, um, but I will tell you how to set it up through the HDMI. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your box and you're gonna wanna open it. It is gonna have a little piece of tape right here that holds this entire thing together. It is a very strong tape, so I would recommend cutting it. And then you're gonna open it up, and what you're gonna have inside is a... Um, you're going to have a AV cable, audio visual. You're going to have a power supply, which is going to be this little cable. And you are going to have a remote. And you are going to have the device itself. It is very light, um, but it works very well. Um, note that the remote, it takes two AAA batteries. Um, this is not sponsored by Rayovac, but I do recommend their batteries. They work really well in this. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate this port on the back. This coaxial port. It says RF in. And you're going to want to locate the yellow, the red, and the white ports for the audiovisual. This one is video, the yellow. This one is um, audio right, this one is audio left. I'm only going to be using the video and audio left ports. Um, the HDMI, you literally just plug HDMI in and then you plug it in to your TV. That's all, and then you also have to plug this thing into an antenna. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take, first, you're going to want to take your, here, let me feed this up through here. You're going to want to take your coaxial cable, which looks like this. It has a little needle inside, as you can see. And you are going to want to plug it into this port right here. And to do that, you are going to plug it in like that, and you are going to screw it on. It will take a minute because they are very finicky but you'll get it eventually. And basically that just holds it on so that it doesn't fall off. Okay, so that is now plugged in. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take, I already, I would recommend getting a different audio visual cable. This one is longer and more heavy duty because those prongs on the sides, they are longer so they connect better. And you are going to want to connect at least the video which is the yellow, and the white, which is the audio left. So you're going to plug your video in, as you can see, and you're going to plug either both or only one of these. I'm only gonna plug in the white, which is audio left. You know what, for fun, I'm just gonna plug in the audio right too. So you're gonna wanna copy that on your television. You're gonna want to plug in each color coded one into your TV. So, and it will show the color on the actual port itself. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to take your, um, your power supply and you are going to unravel it so it looks like this. It is not a very long cable, but it does the job. And then you are going to want to plug it in and then what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take this and plug it in right next to the yellow. So you're going to plug it in just like that. And then, and make sure that if you are connecting it through a coaxial cable, which you can do, you can connect this port to your coaxial cable on your TV. And it says either channel 3 or channel 4. I recommend channel 3. It is a little switch on the back, which you can see right there. 
it has channel three and channel four on there right next to the hdmi port which you can't really see on here but it work but it'll work um and you just either put it on channel four or channel three that's it and for the plugs that's it on this end and then you are going to want to put this aside for now and you can turn it on if you really want to you know, let me finagle with it a little bit because it is a little bit finicky it is a little finicky sometimes sorry about this folks um what is there we go okay so i'm going to slide this up a little bit also sorry for all the camera movement um i'm gonna slide that up a little bit i'm gonna slide this over i'm going to plug it in right there okay and what you will see on your little box a green light you're either going to want the green light or you're going to want to press the power button and turn it red that way you know it is off and then what you're going to do in the back of your tv is you're going to want to come over here and you are going to want to plug in the color-coded things into there I only have the yellow and white plugged in because that's all I have on my TV. But you can also plug in all three if you really want. Now you're going to, to turn on your television. Mine takes a minute to boot up because it's a tube TV. So just give it a second. Okay, it is on now. And now you're gonna to wanna to point your remote at this, at your box and press this little red button right there to turn it on. And as you can see, the MediaSonic Homeworks um, logo shows up. Mine is only a black and white TV, so you will only see black and white on my end. It is not only a black and white device. And here, let me turn this down. And to search for to set this up, it is going to have a, um, let me find it real quick. Um, oh, I got to find the button. Hold on. EPG, EPG. Let me find the button. When you plug this in, it will say, it, it will give you a list of things. It will say, up here, it will say um, language. Over here, it will say um, country. And then down here, it will say search. You just press the OK button right there. And then it will search your channels and find your channels. Currently, I am on DeFi. It works pretty well. Here, I'll turn it up so you can tell that it's playing. This works pretty well, as you can see. And so over here, you can also change the channel by pressing either the channel plus or the channel minus. Channel plus, it goes up a channel. Channel minus, it goes down a channel, as you can see. And... You can also connect USB things. You can also connect USB sticks up to it. So what you were able to do is you were able to go into, um, let me find the button. Go to, go to, let me find the button. Okay. Menu. You will go into menu by pressing the menu button. You have to give it a second and then you will go over to picture, channel search, time, option, system, USB. You will go over here to USB and then you will see all of these. You can click any of these that you really want. And yeah. 
So you can plug in a um, you can plug in a DVD player, a CD player, really whatever you want. You can plug in a thumb drive, a hard drive, whatever you really want. And yeah, that is how you set up your um, that is how you set up your MediaCaster Homeworks HW130 STB digital converter box. And it also comes with all of this in the instructions. I personally didn't use the instructions. So just in case you're like me and you don't want to read instructions and you just want to watch a YouTube video, you can do this. Just watch this. Um, so yeah, a full rundown of the Homeworks, um, what is it called again? The Mediasonic Homeworks digital converter box. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. This is my first tutorial, so obviously it wasn't great. But yeah, if you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you can. Um, without further ado, have a great day. See you guys.